Hello guys, welcome to Bluetech Empire Python tutorials. In these tutorials, we are going to be looking at Python Bolin data types. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys various examples on how to use Bolin, but first I'm going to explain to you guys some brief literature. Now, Python has an explicit Bolin data type called Bolin, which it's value which is value true and false available as pre-assigned build in names internally the name true and false are instances of boolean which in turn just which is in turn just a subclass of the build in integer that um, integer type that's int now i'm going to explain what this means now internally most programming languages represent true and false as one and zero and python does the same where python goes a mile extra or an extra mile by creating a special type known as true and false now these types are simply instances of the type integer now this is um, ob an object oriented terminology where we call instances of a class now i'm going to be explaining that in later videos but just to explain to you just to describe just a brief explanation here to tell you python actually um, represents boolean as one and zero internally now but it's an instance of the built-in type integer now true and false in python behave exactly like one and zero now you can add one to true you can subtract one from false you can use true and false the same like you would use one and zero in a mathematical operation but true and false can be printed out as true and false so they have some um, modified printing logic you know instead of printing out one and zero if you print true it's going to print true if you print false it's going to print false as a word not one and zero like done in most other programming language so they have um, pre-assigned printing logic now let's look at some examples of boolings now here we have a variable var1 we assign the boolean true to it and we have a variable var2 we assign the boolean false to it now if you print type of var1 and type of var2 your scene is going to print bool which is a particular class of the time um, it's a particular type in python so you see class bool now we can assign this this now you see we can also do normal like i told you true is one internally so you can add something to it you can subtract something from it so var one plus three will give you four and um, var one plus minus ten will give you minus nine as you can see it's the same as saying one plus three one minus ten now we have var, var two which is zero now zero does false internally so we can say var two plus five will give you zero plus five var two times ten is zero times ten so you can see we have five and zero now you can go for that let's say let's print for example var 2 minus var 1 let's say true my true is 1 internally false is 0 internally so 1 minus 0 should be negative 1 all right now just to show you some examples here we have a variable var 3 we assign the value 5 to it now while true this is an infinite loop we are, i'm going to explain that to you in later videos when we look at while loops but we can break out of the loop using the if statement i'm going to show you that on using the break statement now we have an infinite loop which will um, print out the value var 3 i am forever but in case whenever var 3 becomes less than 1 is going to stop now at the end of the um the while loop we actually subtract 1 from var 3 so at a certain point var 3 is going to go from 4 3 2 1 and 0 once it's less than 1 this is going to break that's why we have 5 4 3 2 1 0 now instead of saying while true we can still say while 1 just to explain to you just to describe to you that 1 is also a truth value and true also is the same as 1 so this is going to behave the same way like the above example all right now we also have um a10 now this will return bowling these are what we call comparison operator i'm going to be explaining that in a couple of few videos ahead now b greater than a is true so c is going to be true and a less greater than b is going to be um a greater than b is going to be false so d is going to be false now if you print c out you're going to see c is true and d is false now we can also use boolings with the if else statement for example i'm going to be showing you the if else statement in some couple a video some videos ahead now if c is equals to true print b is greater than a is that true yes c is going to be true so it's going to print b is greater than a this else part is not going to execute as we'll be seeing in future videos now if d is equals to true print a is greater than b which is false hence this else part will be executed i'm just trying to show you bowling are usually used for conditional expressions and looping expressions as we are going to see later on all right so you can see this will print b is greater than a and a is less than b all right i hope you understood this short video on bowling i was just trying to explain to you that bowlings are special data types in python but internally they are represented as one and zero true is one and false is zero but if you print them out they are going to they have specialized printing logic true is going to print as true and false is going to print as false all right have a nice time time and see you in the next video thank you